Let's take a look at the team matchup here to compare the stats from the 30-game regular season. And again, you've mentioned it already, a rematch from last year where Yippie Voskula were the number one seed against eight seed Freierstadt, and it went incredibly poorly for Yippie Voskula, I'm sure, as much as they love to continue hearing that. And since heading into this playoff matchup here, FBK, a 5-1-2 and two record, those two overtime losses uh, coming against Philadelphia, so really not a bad stretch of games in their last five Yippie Voskala, though, their last nine games, they've gone seven, one, and one. The problem is there was only one playoff team in that mixture. So it, it makes me wonder, Sin, is that better for the motivation that they're riding high right now? Or is that maybe a little bit of a, a little bit of a negative because they've been playing that lesser competition? You know, I think w- once you get into the playoffs, it kind of it, it's it's a brand new season starting. So I think Yippie Vasco is probably going to take that sort of mentality here. Yeah, you may have faced some easier competition here, boost you to record, but you you know once the playoff starts, seeding goes out the window. All you're focused on is your first opponent here, and that's Feriestad, and they're going to have to deal with their demons from last season and get the job done. So with that, let's take a look at the lineups today. First, for Yippie Voskula, we have Vatu, again, one of the top rookies this season, alongside Auntie and Indy as well, the dynamic duo there on defense. It's Domi and Ilmari, and unsurprisingly, they go with Sandro between the pipes, the better goaltender of their tandem from this season. On the flip side, for FBK, we have Afe, Malin, and Antonio Manon. Furian and Arubatas on defense and McSaven, the league's top goaltender in terms of save percentage is between the pipes. See the work along the line here. Domi with a little bit of space has options. Goes down the left-hand side and gets the puck back quickly. Again, back down the left-hand side. Vatu in front, shot, score! Doesn't take very long. Sin called it, and it's Yippie Vaskala who are able to find the breakthrough. Vatu finds Indy in front, and it's 1-0. Yep, and that's such a strong play. You know, the quick one-time shot from a forward uh, near the circle there that you saw him setting it up. I mean, FBK had bodies there, just not quite enough, and they didn't pick up Indy in time, who just kind of crept his way in there. And in this game, if you're not right on someone, you likely won't get the benefit of the doubt on the defensive play. I mean, you either need a lucky intercept or a lucky incidental contact. Great job from Yippie Vaskala. Nowhere to go for Antonio on that one. Elmari, big stretch pass, two on one here. Indy has Vatu with a backhand, he scores! Just over the line, McSaven so close to saving the day. But Yippie Vaskala have doubled up their lead on a great goal that started with an incredible sauce pass from Elmari in his defensive zone. Yeah, that, that stretch pass was, as you said, it incredible. And then, you know, the, the counterattack ability there of, of Yippie Vaskala, quick strike ability of their own here in game one, taking a 2 nothing lead, almost perfectly played on that two-on-one. The defenseman couldn't quite get back, maintain the gap between the pair of them. The pass was able to get through, not a whole lot Mix David could do there. Loses it, but FBK quickly able to recover. Looking one-timer deflection bit for Afe, but it's knocked down by the defender. Around the back of the net, quick movement from Elmari. 55 to play, and here come Yippie Voskala, but a great job by Malin tracking back. Quick out, Afe's there, pokes it away, oh. just through the crease, what an opportunity. Sandro nearly got caught. Clock still ticking, we're down to 30 seconds. Antonio to Malin, too much traffic, but he still has the puck. Trying to fight forward in the corner. Goes back to the point, opportunity shot on, can't get through the traffic. Auntie there again. But Antonio recovers, still fighting for it. 15 seconds to play. Wraparound bid doesn't go. Sandro's down and out. Chance thrown off the side of the net. Still fighting for it. Opportunity Fury and shot glove saved by Sandro with 5.5 remaining. Wow, what a flurry of chances there from Feriestad. Somehow staying out of the net. Sandro, what a beast there. Flopping all around, doing his doing his damnedest to keep the puck out of the net. He does so, picks up a, a shutout, and what a game that we just witnessed. 
Sour Cream Snacks ja Flaming Hot Snacks. Kotikatsomoissa mukana Wilhelm Snacksit. Good, but I don't think it fully crossed the blue line, unfortunately, which led to the stoppage there. Rough for McSavid, who had just gotten over to the bench. We're going to see that very sad power play get to work again. I'd like to see more movement and crisscrossing here. They're keeping it at the line. Furian looking, gets it to Mall Shot scores! Quick pass over to Ape. Sydney calls it as you seize it. Faryastad have the opening goal of this game. Sin very similar to the last one where the opening team who really started firing on all cylinders early gets caught and gives up the first goal. Yeah, and right there, it's Feristad. I mean, great job right there on the power play. The cross uh, between the defensemen uh, at the blue line and then just, you know, sneaking into that, into the low slot with the pass and then one more pass across. That's just a, a great play right there. And this time it works out. It seems like that's a look they've been looking for quite a few times, especially in the last game. Um, except, you know, Either it, it just he couldn't get the shot off, it was tipped or something, you know, something didn't go right. But that time with the man advantage, Feriestad found it, Afe on the back door, and one to nothing for them. Shot off or maybe a follow-up pass. A couple of close calls here for both teams in the attacking zone. Very quick pace to this one. Antonio dishes back to the point. Those passes on the mark here. Loose puck, kick saved by Sandro. Still fighting shot, scores! Mullen in front, what a feed from Antonio. Sin we called it, broken plays might be the key, and they were there. Feriestad double it up, it's now two to nothing in their favor. Yep, and that's another look that we saw Feriestad looking for so much in the last game. It didn't work out, and now they've got the offensive guns going. Perhaps a pass to Afe, but Mullen there on the backhand gets the in tight chance on the short side, buries it. It is two to nothing now in favor of Feriestad. Exactly the start that they wanted and the start that if you're Yipivoskala has to hurt. I mean, they had those two early chances in the first. They don't capitalize on it. Now you're down two nothing here in the second. Off of the stick contact. We are halfway through a game to a two to nothing lead for FBK. Ozzy back to the point. Again, the quick movement with Domi. Trying to find somewhere to go. Has a couple of options. Antonio trying to bump him off the puck. Again, we don't see bumps too often in this division more nor more of a north american thing that one sneaks in looks like it might be an own goal but it was vatu in front and yippy vaskala are back within one yeah and i think that was furian right there going down with on the l1 to sort of block the cross crease pass ends up being a sauce and i think it went right off of his butt right there and into the the goal that's a rough break for fairy stat Third period underway. Yep, down by one, but in the attacking zone. Around the back of the net. Domi again at the point. So much space to work with here. Antonio not really pressuring him. One timer kick save. Rebound scores! Yep, Ivaskala with an early goal. One minute and 40 seconds into the period. We are tied at two. Indy has another one. Yep, and it was a great play right there. I believe it would have been deflected off the shot by the way the assists went, or maybe not. I'm not too sure. It does look like it went off the body as Ilmari actually got the uh, the tertiary, or sorry, the secondary assist right there. Um, yeah, very interesting. <laughs> Batted out of the midair. McSavin did all he could to get back for that. Actually, surprisingly, got back pretty quick, but it was a great play. Once again, Yippie Vaskala, an early pressure on, on the period. That's becoming a trend here. Feriestad doesn't seem to come out in the early goings with the heat that they need, and it led to them, you know, costing him a goal. Tie game here. Another early goal here. Chance for FBK. Malin Tojak scores! What a response from FBK. The individual effort from Malin and they restore the lead what a response uh yeah what a response indeed happened so quickly the uh analysis was almost still going right there just off the face off mullen what a play you said it toe drag shot top shelf sandro just maybe not expecting the shot that quick that being said what a shot it was restoring that lead quick strike to quick strike we're barely three minutes not even three minutes into the period and now just six and a half minutes gone into this third period. We've already seen a goal apiece 
Here's Vatu. Again, back to Domi. Able to pinch in in front for Ante. Just didn't find its way to the intended target. Domi, good interception. Back chance. Again, doesn't find its way through. Still in traffic. Andy throws it across. Vatu throws it on. Scores! It sneaks in. Yippee Voskala have tied it at three apiece of all the goals to go in. It's that one from the boards. Vatu has his second of the night. Wow, I mean, back and forth, back and forth here in the third period. And unfortunately, once again, he doesn't give a point, but that doesn't happen without Domi. He he got the zone entry, looked good on the initial chances, kept the puck in with the play on the half boards, cutting off the breakout pass, and he was instrumental, keeping that in. Yippie Vaskala able that on a sort of a fluky goal once again that sneaks in short side off of a kind of a Hail Mary shot. The opportunity to end this game equally important goal for both sides shot just couldn't find its way through the traffic indy found that little bit of space again a little bit higher up than where we've seen him score from before domi the big pickoff opportunity here holding throws it off the side of the net on the opportunity once more chance here for Malin again trying to run his way through it's just not there yippee Vascula looking like they have that little bit of extra momentum right now Trying to work it around the neutrals on the fine space, and they do. Auntie shot on, rebound, scores! Batu is there, throw the puck on net and good things can happen. Yippie Vaskala taking an overtime on the comeback effort, and they take a two to nothing series lead. Wow, just a great, I mean, again, that's what we talked about so often through, through, through here. The, the chat acknowledged it as well. If you throw the puck on net, good things happen right there. It's a rebound that Vatu is able to clean up to get the game-winning goal. These first 10 minutes of this first period are so important for Feriestad. They have to get off to a good start. So here we go. Game is underway. Let's see how this plays out. FBK looking to battle their way back into the series. And that is a very good way to do it. We're gonna have a power play very early on here as it's Ilmari from the looks of it gonna be taking a seat. Big chance, Earson. Absolutely, and you know, they're a 50% power play so far for Ferriestad. Let's see if they can get one here. They win the draw again. Mullen's gotten the better of them. Pass across there, just doesn't find its way through. Not dumped out though, great hold by Fury. And over to offense, shot, rebound, scores! What a start under a minute and a half into the game. Power play goal for Firestad. What a way to start things off, Sin. It's Antonio with his first of the playoffs. Yep, first playoff goal here uh, for his team in Feriestad, and that's exactly what I was talking about. They needed a good start, a bit fortuitous with the uh, power play early on, but you have to execute. That's what they did, the shot on net, the rebound. I like it. They didn't move around the perimeter too much. They tried to, you know, get the puck to the net, and it worked out for him. Huge rebound goal, one nothing lead here early on now. Let's we'll see if they can sustain it, build on it. They can't allow Yippie Vasco to start to get that back immediately. Mm -hmm. Good rebound control as well as Auntie did have the body position right there on the doorstep. No big rebound for him to swoop up though. Not two scores! The rookie makes it happen off the draw. A little bit of space is all it takes and we're tied at one. Yeah, bit of a loose puck and uh, a bit of a delay on that and McSave it actually you saw him got you know, caught over sliding simply because of that odd delay with the incidental contact. You'll see it right there. He loses the puck, then picks it up again. McSavid caught just a little bit too far left, trying to cut off that short side. And uh, Vatu picks that far side corner, and it's all tied up here. Just like that, things can turn around. Breaks down the other way, finds Vatu on the left. Looking in front, Auntie tried to shovel one on. Loose puck, recovered. Burian is there. And Andy, up off. Malin has been fantastic at playing the yeah. body game. Tip. He really has. His body work's been amazing. He's good in the offensive zone, facilitating as well on the passes. The trend I've noticed from Feriestad is they want the shot from the right side of the ice where Afi is and when Furian is. They're really not taking any shots from the left sides, which makes their offense a bit predictable right now. When you're able to recover, still Malin fighting for it, trying to throw it on and again. From the odd angle, just not there. 28 to play here in the overtime. Adi for Elmari, bumped off but recovered. Indy in the corner, takes the hit, can't make the play, but this should be an icing call against FBK. It's not. 
Well, here we go. Final 15 seconds. Are we heading for a second overtime? It'll be our second double overtime game of the playoff campaign. Big step up hit there. Four seconds to go. Turned over. Mall shot shot goal! With point six remaining. The turnover. The goal. It's never too late. And Gloria Stout are back in the series. Unbelievable. In the last game, Domi, trouble. Antonio, great job there. It's in. That's one of our key points we talked about. At times in those first two games, they gave Domi way too much time and space be able to work Antonio doing a better job here pass across shot score you're working from the right hand side might be able to catch him off guard and good things could happen it's the captain Indy able to find the back of the net then this time a much better start for Yippie Gospel yep really what the doctor ordered right there it was good zone time and you know it was I was gonna be like all right why they're working the perimeter pretty well they're, but they're only working that perimeter they got to find a way to penetrate the inside that we you mentioned it antonio putting more pressure on domi but if you play that tighter point sometimes the middle can open up just a little bit that's what we saw there indy creeps his way into the slot as he so often does gets the shot away one nothing yippee Voskala. nowhere to go we saw them score chance here for omari head of steam lose it lose puck scores <laughs> Shot and score! What a shot from Vatu. Sin, we've talked about it with these two teams just looking to get the pucks into those high danger areas no matter how many times it fails. And Vatu with the gift of a loose puck in that opportunity in that space. He makes no mistake, the rookie scores again. Yeah, and a bit of a broken play goal, as you're right. It's just off of a loose puck. It looks like a drop pass from Ilmari, so we'll give him a bit of credit for that with the stick positioning, but more of a loose puck there that McSaven wasn't in bad position for. It's just the shot from Vatu there. High percentage area right in the low slot. Just beats him over that glove. 2-0, Yippie Voskola, Feriestad. Really got to step on the gas now. I've already won Rookie of the Year. <laughs> Tough to say, has some great competition. Here's Indy, he has a goal in this game. Captain, still fighting for it in the corner. Auntie, back over to Domi. Pinching in, circles back, finds Auntie over to Indy, scores! Tremendous movement from Yippie Voskula. The captain has his second of the game. And FBK are in that much more of a dire situation. And once again, who was it keeping that puck in, driving the play down low? It's Domi, and again, he doesn't get credit for an assist there, but he was the one who started that cycle, went from his point position down low towards those half boys, made the initial pass, two more to get it to the middle, and Indy again finds himself in the slot area with enough time to pull the trigger. Yippie Voskula, so good at their timing, now leading three to nothing. It's desperation time now for Feriestad. This one sent down, doesn't find its way to Afe, who has been neutralized, especially in comparison to last year's matchup in the first round between these two teams. But there have been some crucial changes to the lineup. Benefited both teams, but right now, Yippie Voskala looking like the team that's that much more likely to play Philadelphia in round two. Great movement, scores! It's Vatu again! As if he didn't secure Rookie of the Year already, Sin. My goodness, what an effort from this man here in this first round matchup for nothing. And again, unbelievable from Yippie Voskala. Somehow, some way, finding the tiniest bit of space to get the puck into the slot and get another one. It's Vatu right there. Quick give and go. Catching Feriestad trying to move between skaters as again, they need to try to force the issue. Even down a man, they have to force these turnovers. Perfectly placed shot. McSavid, not a whole lot he could do about that one. And good power play from Yippie Voskala. The penalty comes out to bite, comes back to bite Feriestad. 4 0 here in the dying moments of third. Yeah, it's pretty much over, unfortunately, for Feriestad in this one. Of the gameplay, obviously a disappointing result here, Sin. Opportunity on the doorstep taken away. Uh, incredibly disappointing. Afe here has a step. Chance scores! So Afe gets his second goal of this series. Maybe a little bit lackadaisical. Hence there from Yippie Voskola. But finally he finds space. Then that's all he needs is a chance. But they just haven't been able to get him those opportunities. 
No, that's really the only time we've seen Afe be able to beat both of the defensemen there. And it comes off of a force pass, which is good for them. And maybe they should have been trying that a bit earlier on. But we said that a lot for Ferrisad. Oh, they're taking a lot of shots now. Maybe they should have tried that earlier. Tänään joku juuli ja tästä lähtee ensimmäinen ottelu käyntiin tämän illan osalta. Jyp johtaa tätä sarjaa lukemina 3-1. Se on faktuaalinen tosiasia, minkä kanssa eletään ensimmäinen laukaus. Ja Färjestad saa kyllä aivan jäättävän alun. Se on Afiel, joka pääsee ensimmäisestä hyökkäyksestä käytännössä nitkaamaan. Ja Jyngberg painaa tämän pelin yhteen nollaan. Ja jäi se on, että tämän, pudotuspeli, tämän pudotuspelisarjana kolmas määni Afiel ja Färjestad johtaa 1-0. Joo, siinä oli, siinä oli hyvä pakotus tänne keskelle ja Affe, Affe kun pelaatu sieltä ollut pienemmän, pienemmän tuota kaverilla, niin se on pakilla, pakilla vaikea pysyä perässä, jos vähänkään hukahtaa ja siinä kävi nyt tuomilla vähän, vähän tommonen ja, ja tota, erittäin, 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 hyvä, erittäin hyvä viimeistely Affe. Kyllä tämä on ollut Färjestadin elä. Joo, on, on, on tähän mennessä ollut, että just toi aikaisempi tilanne, missä nähtiin Antoni Omanen kaksi ykkösessä, niin toi just mitä mä sanoin ennen pelin alkuun, että noista pitää pystyä olemaan terävämpi, terävämpi, että noista ei hirveästi olisi missään. Ja sieltä tulee seuraava ikku! Antoni Omanen painaa kiekon maaliin. Ja näin ollen kuin salama kirkkaalta taivaalta jälleen kerran färjestäädään iskee. Kiekko viivasta maalia kohden Tandro Torjo ja nyt sitten Xdomi, jota on tässä hehkutettu, niin unohtaa kyllä täysin oman miehensä. Ja näin ollen sieltä pääsee färjestäädään pelaaja tuikkaamaan kiekon takatolpilta sisään 2-0. Joo, just, just pääsin vähän kritisoimaan Anteen, että terävämpi, mutta oli terävä, terävä irtokia, koska kaikki tietää, että Alppurian tykkää laukoon, niin toi oli, toi oli just hyvä yksinkertainen simppeli kuvio, ja tätä vaan lisää harjastaa. Poikittain syöttä, TPN Antti Ilmari. Ilmari poikittain syöttä, vattui pääsee laukomaan. Max David saa näyttämään tämän torjunnan helpolta, vaikka se ei sitä todellakaan ole. Lukee hyvin tilannetta Antonia Mannenen ja Kiekon kanssa hyökkää Salolle, kantaa keskustaan. Vielä hakee syötön viereen malleen maalin eteen. Ja se on jo 3-0. Ja se on Avelille toinen maali tähän otteluun. Ja Pärjestar 3-0 johto. Joo, siinä oli, siinä oli hyvä maltti Antonio Mannen. Toi Kiekko alueellisesti niin vielä jälkeen, että antoi siihen sentterille. Ja sitten näki, näki kyllä tuon syötön kauas. Niin kuin sanoin tuossa ekaserässä, niin toi Affelijin pelaaja Pildi, että se pelaa tuossa Naitperilla ja se on tosi nopea ja ketterä. Että siitä, jos pakki ihan vähänkään antaa siimaa, niin sitten se on enää veskasta kiinni. Ja hyvin pelattu Pärjestar tuo tilanne. Kaunis syöttö kyllä ja näitä on sultakin välillä totuttu näkemään tuolta syvyydestä takaisin maalidennustajalle. Ne on kyllä maalivaadille. Ei, ei, ole, ei ole kaikista helpoin, helpoin luke. Joo, ei, 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 ole, ei ole helpoin. Et, et, tota, tässä varsinkin tässä versiossa niin maalivahtina niin pelaaminen on vaikeampaa kuin, vaikeampaa kuin viime versiossa. Et, kuten sanoin, niin pitää kyllä olla ihan koko 99, jos haluaa kaikki ottaa kiinni. Nyt tilanne on se, että Reilu Vartti on tätä ottelun kolmatta erää jäljellä. Sen verran on myöskin Jypil armon aikaa ja välittömästi kun pääsee sanomasta, niin Jyp kaventaa. Jyp kaventaa kolmen yhteen ja Indi on totta kai maalinen tekijänä. Indin viides maali tähän pudotuspelin rupeamaan. Ja sieltä totta kai myöskin Töyrylä syöttöpisteen itselleen nappaa. Vähän samankaltaista peliä syvyydestä maalin edustajalle. Jyp tulee vielä tähän peliin mukaan. Maalin eteen pystyttänyt Indi, Ilmari, Ex-Domi, hirvittävä lihamurri on siinä Max Davidin edustalla. Sitten TBN Antti Kiekona menetys aika rohkeassa paikassa lähtee Spinormaan hakemaan Kiekona menetys. Takapatja ja Jyp kaventaa. Jyp kaventaa kolmeen kahteen ja nyt se lähtee kyllä sitten aivan järkyttävästä hassista oman siniviivan päällä. Jyp kääntää takapatja laukaus ja peli on kolme kaksi. Joo, siinä, siinä oli vähän hätästä Färjältä ja Jypiltä tosi hyvin pelattu, että näki, näki kyllä aika kauas. Mä itse veikkasin, että tulee varmaan Patja ja toi on Max Davidin ehkä suurin heikkous mun mielestä välillä noin irtokiekkojen pelaaminen. Jyp kuitenkin nää tulee vielä ainakin nää kertaalleen ja viimeinen pitkä minuutti ottelun noin kolmannesta erästä aina käynnissä ja Jyp yöryttää kiekko maalin. Se seuraava poikka ja Max David ottaa isoja koppeja tässä pelissä jälleen kerran toisella vatuu, joka pääsee viimeisenä yrittämään. Ja nyt alkaa kyllä varmasti myöskin nää jännitys Färjestada. Fanien keskuudessa tiivistymään, kun Jypin rynnistys on. Nyt on kuitenkin kiekko oikeasta päästä. Pärjestää niin kannalta ja vielä, kun pystyy tästä 
Pärjestada Kiekon pitämään itsellään ei pysty, joten Jypille avautuu vielä viimeinen mahdollisuus kiusata tuon Pärjestadia. Muistetaan, mitä tapahtuu siinä kaksiksi pelissä. Ei ole paitsi, joten nyt mennään todella tiiviisti. Tepen Antti Kiekko maalin eteen. Ja lähellä se on. Lähellä se on, mutta Pärjestad ottaa kyllä jättimäisenä taisteluvoitona tässä. Mutta tästä lähtee Keima Kutonen liikkeelle. Jyp mustassa peliasussaan puolestaan Färjestad tuossa valkovihreässä peliasussaan. Ja näin sitten katsotaan, pystyykö Jyp tämän sarjan katkaisemaan ja ensimmäistä kertaa kiekkoa alueelle. Hyvin pystyy kuitenkin Max Eivide tämän hoitamaan. x lähtee vasta iskuun. Tuo kiekon helposti alueelle. Ottaa vielä tv Anti mukaan. tv Anti x Domi Laukaat lähtee hyvin sen Max Eivide torjuu. Fiksua pelaamista viivaan, kulmasta viivaan, viivassa pakki, pakki, laukaus, miehet maskiin, ohjuria maalille ja sitä kautta peliä haltu. Joo, ja tätä pitää mun mielestä jopilta nähdä, nähdä muutenkin enemmän, että Ilmari ja Doomin pitää laukoa, laukoa rohkeasti. Indikiekon kanssa hyökkää se alueelle, ex Doomi tuttuun tapaan pyörittää maistrona. Kiekkoa viivasta peliin, Indi, Ilmari, Ilmari kantaa uudestaan ex Domi hyvin, leikkaa keskustaan, ujuttaa kaksi pelaajaa, nyt olisi voinut ex Domi jopa itse tuosta kantista laukoa. Sitten TBN Antti aika yllättävän lämeri pienestä kulmasta, Ilmari vielä TBN Antti, nyt ei kuitenkaan enää kätisyys käy, TBN Antti ei pääse suoraan laukomaan nää pienestä kulmasta laukaus tällä, ei Max Savidia kyllä yllätetä. Siellä saa tällä hetkellä Färjestadin nämä hyökkäjät, niin kuin Jypin hyökkäjätkin, nämä pyöriä siellä laidoilla. Ja sieltä ei keskustaa nämä ilmaisia paikkoja anneta ilmari laukoa ja suoraa peliä päin. Joten ne kyllä molemmilla tuo keskustana puolustaminen, nää. se on tiivistä, se on kurinalaista tällä hetkellä. Ja nyt tietysti molempien hyökkäyksen lähtö täytyy olla myöskin nämä kurinalaista jypsaa vielä yhdenä mahdollisuuden ja kiekomallin eteen nämä Max Eivide torjuu. Ja nyt oli jälleen kerran lähellä aivan ottelun ja toisen erän loppuhetkellä. Kiekon menetys omissa, kiekon menetys omalla siniviivalla. Sen jälkeen peli kääntyy nopeasti oman maalin eteen ja nämä on kyllä todella vaaran paikkaa molemmille joukkoille. On ja noita on nähty, noita nähty tässä sarjassa, sarjassa on jonkun verran, että ne, niitä varmaan tullaan näkemään vielä lisääkin. On, on aika 50-50 peliä tällä hetkellä. Puolestaan malleinen Kiekon kanssa hyökkää salolla UK pienestä kulmasta. Janro torjuu Kiekon eteensä. Ensimmäisenä paikalla on kuitenkin vattu y Indi. Ilmari Kiekon kanssa hyökkää alueelle. Pelaa vielä TPN Antille. Hänet tuplataan malleinen. Hyvin nappaa Kiekon omalle joukkueelleen ja näin lähtee. Pärjestää hyökkäämään. Jyp ei anna kuitenkaan senttiäkään tilaa. Ja sitten pitkä avaus ja se on aika karmaiseva. Yksi ja puoli sekuntia jää kolmatta erää jälleen ja sillä kerkeä, siinä kerkeä kyllä maalin eteen. No joo, olisin, olisin halunnut nähdä tuota Feska pois vielä tässä kuitenkin puolesta. Aloitus voittolaukaus lähtee ja herra jesta sentään. Mutta nyt tämä tilanne on se, rakkaat ystävät. Eurheilun ystävät, että mikäli voittaa, tämä sarja on paketissa. Mikäli Färjestad voittaa, me näemme Game 7 niin näyttävä. Tämä on Antti Hippa voittaa! Ja katsokaa, kuka ratkaisee! Virtanen Vatty lyö sieltä niin sanotusti valot sammuksiin. Kiitoksia Karlstad, kiitoksia Färjestad. Jyp etenee välieriin Philadelphian kanssa. Tuukka Flyer Kungen kuha veikkaa sekä Tasapelin, että voittomaallinen tekijän oikein ja Game 7, 7 ei nähdä ja Jyp voittaa tämän, tämän pelin 1-0. Mukana matseissa ja kotikatsomoissa. Wilhelm Snacksit.